one of the largest fish dating back more than 400 million years is one predator to be feared, the great white shark. This life-threatening predator inhabits all of the Earth's major oceans, the Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian Oceans, located around the equator. You may find this keystone species in the marine life zone, further, the intertidal zone within the ocean zone. Beware swimmers, these predators share the same swimming area as you. Now we are going to zoom in on the great white shark's presence in the Great Barrier Reef located off the coast of Australia. These sharks play a key role in maintaining a healthy habitat for all marine life. The great white shark is known to eat sick and weak members of their prey, as well as dead carcasses on the seafloor. This is very important because these sharks help prevent diseases which could affect all marine life. Due to the shark's role as an apex predator, their prey is able to reproduce healthier and stronger offspring because the weakest members are most likely to be eaten. Also, the great white shark helps keep the ocean's food webs balanced. Without their presence, there would be an overpopulation of species who feed on marine vegetation. Taking a deeper look into the great white shark's habitat, the photosynthetic marine plant red algae is important for its role as a top primary producer and physical habitat for marine life. Without the presence of the keystone species, the great white shark, the ocean species population cannot be properly regulated, and the increase of primary consumers will eat away at the red algae. Furthermore, researchers from Princeton University have conducted a study on the mutualist relationship between algae and coral. The symbiotic relationship between algae and coral started more than 210 million years ago and is crucial for the health of coral reefs. Algae benefits coral by allowing them to expand and grow in waters with low nutrition. Also, algae uses photosynthesis to produce nutrients for coral cells, and in return, coral produces anomium waste, which is food for algae. This relationship is key to keeping nutrients cycling within the environment. Without this working relationship, the great white shark would not receive its needed nutrients passed on from these producers through their prey. The Australian fur seal is characterized by their accurate eyesight and hearing as well as their ability to breathe air. These key aspects of seals allow them to catch squid, birds, and fish, which help regulate the species in their environment. Fur seals share their home with great white sharks, which affect their presence in the ecosystem. The fur seals are great white sharks' main food source because of their protein-filled bodies. The seal population is at risk due to being a high demand prey that is frequently hunted by sharks. Without the presence of great white sharks, the fur seal population would flourish because their life would no longer be in jeopardy, which would allow them to consistently regulate their ecosystem. Another species within the great white shark's habitat is the parasitic copepod. This species is an ectoparasitic copepod who find their homes on the dorsal and pectoral fins of the great white shark. Moreover, the great white shark and this copepod share a parasitism relationship. Because the parasitic copepod uses the great white shark's body as a habitat, they've infected the great white shark population with many diseases, which is one reason why the great white shark is currently an endangered species. In this parasitism relationship, the copepods are benefiting from the shark's physical presence. Without the great white shark's presence, copepods would not have a habitat, so their population would decrease or force them to find new habitats, which would infect other species. In summary, the great white sharks play a valuable role in its ecosystem. 
and other marine life would be greatly affected if this keystone species was removed. <coughs> Beware, humans. The great white shark can mistake you as a seal.